walls and grommet in the last resort. Alright, start game. A Telltale production. Not The Walking Dead. Blackpool. No idea where the hell that is in Britain, so, sorry. That, however, looks like Florida summer rather to me. Or Florida spring. Florida winter. Okay. And King Dumbass again. About raining cats and dogs, our plumbing's in a right pickle. What do you do to it? While I stick me finger in the dike. Uh, I uh, probably shouldn't make a joke about that. Now nah, I'm gonna skip that. Just the job. Bring it here now, will you, lad? Yes, sir, Mr. Boss. Uh, take that. That's left over from our lunar landing. Best leave it be, lad. Okay. Uh, rich. Rich, rich, rich. Well done. Our troubles are over. No, they are not. Oops. And you're all dead now. You killed your. Bo you, yeah, you killed each other. Congrats. That was a shock. Best trip the circuit breaker, lad. And stay clear of the water. It's electric. So, I'm I'm pretty sure wood does not. Just just, just be at it. Just be at it. I was about to say I'm pretty sure wood doesn't block electricity like rubber does, but I I really have no clue. So. Oh shit. Oh, run. Look out, lad. The tide's coming in. Best find another way to the circuit breaker. Okay, it's rubber, so I'll let that go. If you don't crack us, you'll get yourself electrocuted. Though that toy shovel is plastic, so it should still be con conducting electricity. Careful, lad. That's extremely volatile compressed rocket gas. Ex NASA. How the fuck did you get it? You can't reach that circuit breaker. We'll be fine. This would just Don't blow him up. Do it, lad. You'll blow yourself to smithereens. Lincoln, Nora. Well done, Gromit. Poor be fixed in a jiffy. Just a moment. One day, Activision will make a game like this, entirely black screen. That's better. Oh, there you are. Well, we'd best clean up. Crack on, lad. There's a lot to do. Sorry about the unseasonal weather. I'm afraid it means we'll have to put off our little trip to the seaside. Or you can just not be a pussy and go in the rain. Unless... We bring the seaside to us. I've been to the beach in the rain many a times. It's Florida. It rains every day on the beach. Look here. We've already got a cellar full of water. Just a few more items. There we You're are. You're asking before mold and soon. And we can enjoy the seaside from the comfort of our own home. Ho, ho, ho. Won't that be something, lad? We'll stay home for the holidays and have our own beach to boot. And mold. The rain's let up for now. I'll be back in a trice with all the necessaries. Sun, sand, and beach umbrella coming up. What do they call the umbrella a necessity? It's not like you have a real sun inside your house. You don't really don't gotta really worry about sunburn. Duncan, what are you 
doing here? Picking you up, lassie. We have a date. Surely you're not still thinking of the beach. It's freezing cold and might rain any moment. Ugh, a little wet never dampened the spirits of my biscuit. Grab your wellies and we'll be off. Duncan, I really don't think so. You must admit, it's hardly beach weather, is it? Well, I'm gonna let these two squabble. I will be back for them. Okay, yeah, there we go. We must act now before the flood. Gather the townsfolk. We'll stack the sandbags to the north, south, and east. Still what about the west? Look lively now, so Fuck now. the west, I guess. No, 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 you can't dump these sandbags here. Just, just, just wait a moment, Major, please. Stop dithering, you dunderhead. The town's being swept under. There's now being swept under, Major. And you're beginning to be a public nuisance. You see, in America, the police would just tase that guy, then beat the shit out of him. I guess Britain is a lot easier, though. Afternoon, Wallace. Oh, yeah. It's a stack of Stilton. More cheese knowledge. Oh. Was that the earth-shaking roar of thunder? Uh, well, actually, uh... It doesn't matter when it comes to the complex question of climate. A person should never really rely on his own senses. Only the experts really understand the weather. Because it's so hard to say, look in the sky, it's a cloud. It's going to rain. What's the latest cheese of the week, I wonder? Stilton. And that reminds me. I just sent the truck out with your delivery. When you return home, you'll find it waiting patiently on your doorstep. Uh, Yay! Just like Gromit. You know, Mr. Wallace, there's nothing like coming home to a faithful, loyal cheese. I quite agree. You know, I wonder what Wallace was like before he got Gromit. You think he would have been, would have been dead by then? Have a pleasant day. You cannot function without the dog. Hello, love. Afternoon, Mrs. Gabberly. Hello, Wallace. Lovely weather, isn't it? Well, uh, I actually uh, like rainy weather, so it's I'm nice to be. I'm joking, Pat. I know it's rotten. Had to cancel me holiday. That's I like cold shame. and I like wet. Certainly is being stuck with old misery guts here. I heard that. You don't miss a word I say. Except when I ask him to do some it. Ah, sitting behind a till all day ain't exactly hard labor. What would you know about hard labor? I could run this place a sight better than you, if I had a mind to. If you had a mind? What will it be, love? I'd make a joke about those two, but every fucking married couple I know their age fights like that, so it's pretty accurate. Looking for something to read? Take your pick. I'll put it on your slate. Yes. More rotten weather on the way tonight, they say. It's kind of how weather normally works. Hey, make sure he don't nick any sweets. Mind your own business. That old misery guts thinks he could run this. Why does shop. he hate Ooh, Wallace so much? He couldn't run a bath. Oh, that's right, because Wallace fucks up everything up for everybody. Like the giant bees last episode. Gloomy weather ahead, I'm afraid. Oh? Oh, no. After all that, my sizzling summer sail is ruined. I go on holiday, but the weather's a washout. Will the sun never shine on yours, truly? I like him. He reminds me of me. Just pessimistic all the time. Quite a light, Mr. Paneer. It's a searchlight. I say, no shortage of candle power there. Right as the sun, don't you think? Wonderful for bringing in the big spenders. When the weather's fair, that is. Why? I say, I wonder where a person might acquire such a light. You're welcome to borrow this one, Mr. Wallace. There won't be any sizzling summer sail tonight. Not in this blinking weather. That's very good. Why? Of you. Always happy to help. Oh, oh, oh. This light will make a smashing sum. You're a shop owner. Weather doesn't really affect the sale. 
Considering there's like, what, five people in this town? Let's see, the Scottish guy, our neighbor, you, the woman and her husband, the crazy old guy, and the police detective. And maybe these two guys should make meat pies. So, do I have a map still? Nope, I don't, not that one. Nope, no, no map. Gotta walk. Yay, cheese! Ridiculous. Oh, hello there, Wallace. Come and meet Duncan McBiscuit. He's an old friend. <laughs> friend, my ass. Well, he wants in her purple paradise. Darlings, Fuji Woo and Tinky Wee. Say hello to Mr. Wallace Angels. Oh, dear sweet lord. Uh, yes. Uh, look, Gromit. It's your friends from next door. Cute little fellows. Oh, yes. They're show dogs, you know. Prize winners. They're my pride and joy. Well, I won't keep Those are the you. kind of dogs you want to play no, football with. No, no, with. no. Duncan was just leaving. Leaving with you, lassie. For a day on the beach. But what if there's a cloudburst? I don't consider thunder and lightning very pleasant beach companions. Well, there's no thunder and no lightning. Can you hear any thundering? Any cracking or booming? Well, can you? Maybe I can. Just hush your tongue a moment, will you? Oh, yeah, it's mouth watering. Oh, my hey, gracious. Hey. First they think flowers right? eat ga at first and they think bees eat goddamn flowers, flowers oh, and now they can use stomach or blink with thunder. But but did you see lightning? There's no lightning to bother about us, sir. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not going to stay out here with you waiting to be struck by lightning. I'm going to seek shelter. And if you've any sense at all, Duncan McBiscuit, you'll do the same. Good day. What? Oh. What are you looking at, Jimmy? A Scotsman who's not getting laid tonight. You see, the problem with thunder is it booms. It doesn't just gurgle like that. I'll just borrow this. Where the just fuck is he hiding that? For our cellar-based indoor beach experience. Now he has that in his inventory. Where the and the light and the light. You know where he's hiding it. Anyway, oh. Oh, a special order for 62 West Wallaby Street. Stilton. Okay, One you got my favorites. All right, you got his address. Send him the hate mail. And these two idiots now. Uh, um. Yes, soldier, out with it. Uh, well, uh, if you'd like to unload these sandbags, I know just the spot. Just as I told you, the people are pleading for sand, and we've got to give it to them. I'd like to give it to you, you loony old goat. But if you've got a need for sandbags, an American boys, police I officer hereby would. grant you permission. Oh? You grant permission? Indeed. Take all you want, Wallace. Infernal cheek. I'm the commanding officer here, you jumped up Jobsworth, and I hereby revoke permission. Can't you be cooperative just this once, Major? Cooperative? Don't know the meaning of the word. Sounds subversive to me. All right, Major, how about this? Why don't we ask Wallace here who's in command? Because that's how police work. They ask civilians who's in command. Very well. Why not? Tell us, soldier, who holds rank here? Remember your training. You can just walk up to a police officer and say, I'm in charge, and yeah, there you go. That'll work. We're waiting, soldier. Two fine flavors that work well together. We're talking about who's in charge, not flavors. 
Just a moment. Are you saying that instead of bickering over who's in charge, we should be working together as a team, like uh, steak and kidney? Uh, are you saying that in a crisis like this, we must act as one, like a well-trained commando unit? Actually, it's a sign... Exactly, a sign that we can now rise above our squabbles. Very well, then. Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll send these sandbags off with you. Thank goodness. Well, I'll be off then. I can hear a not meat pie calling me name. Yes, I can. Ernest Dibbins, it's saying. It's tea time. Fetch the blinking ketchup, Ernest. Now then, soldier. Okay, that one's more like a regular police your officer. Requisition form. Requisition form? That's right. Got to play by the book. Can't let the spies sabotage operations, can we? Spies? Surely you've heard about the spies from abroad. They're everywhere. Don't look so rattled, man. Just bring me your requisition form, and you'll soon be neck deep in splendid sandbags. Oh, right then. Oh boy, neck deep in sandbags. That sounds enjoyable. It's only for cheese, but... Give that here. Good heavens. Special orders? Deliver to 62 West Wallaby Street. You've done the service proud, soldier. Now, stand clear. No time for chitter-chatter. I'm needed in West Wallaby Street. Uh, uh yes, sir. I suppose it would be kind of scary if you ever had a truck of guns and it'd be this easy to get it from. He is ex-military. Nice to see you, fellas. Indeed, sir. Walk, you idiot. Walk.